Welcome back to Vintage Diamonds. What is your favorite show of Linda Carter, and how old were you when you saw her for the first time? Let me know in the comment section. In today's video I tell you a few interesting facts about the beautiful Linda Carter which you probably didn't know. During high school, played in a band called Just Us's, which consisted of a marimba, a congo drum, an acoustic guitar, and a stand-up bass. When she was 17, she joined another band for more exposure called The Relatives, because two members were cousins, which opened at the Sahara Hotel Casino Lounge in Las Vegas for three months. Linda had to enter the casino through the kitchen, since she was under 21. Known for playing Radar O'Reilly on MASH, Gary Berghoff was the drummer. SHE joined her last band, The Garfin Gathering with Linda Carter, in 1970, and their first performance was in a brand new hotel in San Francisco that had no sidewalk entrance, so they played mostly to janitors and hotel guests parking their cars underground. In spite of these intimidating circumstances, Linda performed so well that Howard Speedy Garfin nicknamed her Wonder Woman. As a representative of Arizona, she won the title of Miss World USA in 1972. During a social dinner, Linda's friend Satter and her current husband, lawyer Robert Altman, together in hopes the two would get along. In Battle of the Network Stars, she poured champagne over Howard Cassell's head after her team won the tug-of-war contest without knowing he wore a hairpiece. Cassell was very upset. Later, whenever she saw him in New York, she would send him a bottle of champagne and he always knew it was from her. Linda was David Jansen's target on Circus of the Stars No. 2, where he threw daggers at her. Although he came close to her, he always missed her. Jeannie Epper, the son of one of her stunt doubles, told his classmates that his mother had been Linda's stunt double in Wonder Woman, but they didn't believe her, even after he showed them a picture of her on set wearing the Wonder Woman costume. Upon discovering this, Linda herself invited the boys' class to the set to see Jeannie in action. Linda Carter once said, I think that you're probably familiar with the problem in Hollywood, and that is that they market you and they use you. They did a mask of my face, and put it on the doll, and they put my name on for the first run of it. And then they took my name off, and said they didn't have to pay me anymore. So it's the kind of thing, that you can be used, so much in this industry. I make nothing. I don't even make anything from the rewards. Don't ever settle for net profits. It's called creative accounting dot. During an eight-week run at London's West End at Deppley Theatre, she returned to her first love, singing, as Mama Morton, the leather-clad women's jailer in the play Chicago. She has now appeared on stage, screen, and television in all three forms of acting. Although many of the actual comic book supervillains did not appear in her television series, Linda grew up reading Wonder Woman comic books. Early in June 2008, Carter discovered a body floating in the Potomac River while leaving the Potomac Boat Club. As she waited for the police to arrive, she called out to some fishermen. Has been involved in many charitable causes, including the Susan G. Komen Foundation for Breast Cancer Education and Research, the Red Cross, USO, Ronald McDonald House, and many other charities that benefit children. Carter released an album titled Portrait in 1978, but its sales were poor. Almost 31 years after her first album, she released a jazz-style LP at last in 2001. The album reached a respectable number 6 on the jazz charts. In addition to her previous album, she released a new one titled Crazy Little Things. As well as being a longtime supporter of the Democratic Party, she is also a close friend of Hillary Clinton and has endorsed her 2016 presidential campaign. In her view, she was the first person to recognize Deborah Winger's talent. She screen tested with several actresses to play Wonder Woman's younger sister Wonder Girl and told the producers that Winger stood out among the others. During the three episodes, Carter acted as a big sister to Winger, both on and off screen. Nevertheless, Winger was unhappy with the experience and hired an attorney 
to get out of her contract. After that, she pursued a film career and was nominated for three Academy Awards. In a later interview, she said Carter was a mannequin who didn't want her to wear the same color eyeshadow. In contrast, Carter told Larry King she was surprised by Winger's statements because they got along well and she was a great actress. She also said that she wasn't hurt since Winger had said she didn't like working with other actors such as Shirley MacLaine and Richard Gere. She had suffered from alcohol abuse. After her first marriage ended in 1983, her drinking worsened. In order to get through her first steps into sobriety, she turned to religion after being persuaded by Robert Altman. Since then, Carter has remained sober thanks to the treatment.